He celebrates native Omaha days and people who grew up in Omaha return to the city to gather with friends and family and reminisce about the good old days. But some of those days weren't so good. That's true. Unfortunately, today an historical marker was dedicated near 24th and Patrick to the memory of Vivian Strong, a 14 year old African American girl who was shot in the back of the head by a white Omaha police officer. Six News as John Chapman reports. Today's ceremony was all about remembering the past and uniting to move forward to a better day. Vivian was one of many teenagers at a dance party in a vacation. James Strong Jr. reads the words on the marker that tells the story of that tragic moment in June of 1969, when 14 year old Vivian Strong and other youngsters ran from a party in the Logan Fontenelle housing projects. Officer James Loder raised his gun and fired a single shot, hitting Vivian Strong in the back of her head as she ran away. Vivian was killed instantly. Dr. Cynthia Robinson, the chairperson of the UNO Black Studies Department, wrote the words that a member of Vivian's family reads today. In March of 1970, an all-white jury acquitted Officer James Loder of all charges related to killing Vivian Strong. One of the greatest, most humbling experiences of my life and my professional career was working on this marker with this family. The Strong family has been living with these words, that moment, for more than half a century. No matter how much time has passed, I've played the incident over and over in my mind because I was there. Carol Strong was 13 years old when her sister was shot and killed. The what ifs constantly run through her mind. What if she had just stepped out the door with me? What if I hadn't warned them that the police was there? because they all ran once I said that. So many scenarios have played over and over in my mind that, that something I could have done that may have spared her life. She was too young. She really hadn't lived yet. Vivian's death was too much for Omaha's black community to take. The fatal shooting was followed by three days of violent rioting that changed the community. Diane Thomas is back in town to celebrate Native Omaha days. She remembers when Vivian was killed and the violence broke out. Tempers were flaring, uh, emotions were high. And there were those of us, including myself, that just didn't stand on the sidelines. We wanted to change things. We wanted to change, they had to change. Standing at the crossroads of the past and the present, we acknowledge that accountability was not served in this case. Change is happening. Maybe not as fast as everyone would like, but today the Omaha Police Department's oh, assistant easy, chief of police, right. Anna Cologne, a woman of color, called for unity. We cannot undo the actions of the past, but we can shape our future. We can make a solemn vow to learn from these past lessons and work tirelessly to prevent such tragedies from ever happening again. Unity, that is the essence of my message to you today unity within our police force, and unity within the community that we serve. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. The Strong family also placed a more religious marker at 24th and Grant, just north of the historical marker.